Good afternoon and welcome to Sunken Diamond here on the campus of Stanford University where the Bears will look to take the second of this three-game set from the Cardinal after triumphing 7-4 to four yesterday in a dramatic 10-inning affair following the late heroics of Aaron Knapp and Brendan Farney who combined to put the Bears ahead. The two teams will go at it again today at Sunken Diamond where it is a gorgeous 72 degrees and brilliantly sunny great weather for baseball. My name is Jamie Silva. I am joined for today's game by my partner Dave Fusaro. Dave, how are you doing? Excellent, Jamie. Nice to be here on a beautiful afternoon here at Sunken Diamond. As the Stanford team lines up outside their dugout to receive a, an enormous number of high fives from a whole troop of youngsters, I imagine visiting from some little league or other, uh, where apparently the Cal team was not provided with any, anyone to high five. Uh, so they are simply uh, warming up outside their own dugout. Nobody to high five but themselves. It is a uh, truly a sad situation. Here's the kick and the throw, and that one is swung on and lined into right field, getting down. It's in there. Over to field it is Slater, but here comes Knapp around third. The relay looks to be there, but he is safe, sliding under the tag of Brent Whiting. Now he comes set above the letters and deals. That one is in the dirt outside. Brent Whiting kind of uh, bobbles the ball slightly but keeps it in front of him and then glares menacingly over at Devin Rodriguez at third base. Make sure he didn't have anything in mind, which he did not. Actually, quite a nice block from the Stanford catcher as that ball was in the dirt. As that one is lined over to second, Rubicamp can't get it. Here comes the run around third, half power. And the throw is very high. He'll score easily. And coming into second on the throw is Brant Whiting. And this game is tied. A nice piece of hitting there by Brant Whiting. Uh, just serving it into left field where Brian Selsey, I don't know if he had much of a chance to start with, but airmailed the throw. Mitchell Cranston had to leap in the air to catch it. Give an RBI to Whiting, a run to Hoff Power in this game. Is all knotted up as we come back to the top of the order in Tommy Edmond, who will be presented with the same situation that Whiting was, a runner on second with one out. He'll kick and deal again. That one is laced into left field through the hole at short. Over to get it is Delphi, but Alex Blandino with an authoritative base hit on the through the left side. And he's on base for the second time today, leading off this third inning as that one is swung on and fouled back into the stands. You can hear the ooh from those in that area warning whoever was in the immediate region to, to take heed as the count remains 0-2. Looks so like everyone's safe and healthy over on that right side and in the thank stands. Goodness. You know you have a couple instances like that. Soon they're issuing helmets at the door as you come in. Here's the pitch. That one just off the plate on the outside. More breaking balls. It's 1-2. and two. Now third baseman in there on the left side, takes a fastball away, runs the count to one and one. Just off the plate there. Uh, the catcher, Whiting, held it for a moment, but seeing as Travis Reininger, the home plate umpire, wasn't biting, he returned it from whence it came. 